when when I first came to the garden, they had a little shack up on on against the fence, and they had a few beds over it. Uh, now we have a kitchen, we have a bathroom, you know, we have grills, uh, 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 you know, you could cook in the garden. Um, we have a stage. It, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. I've been to a few of the gardens that NYRP has, and I could brag and say we have one of the most beautiful gardens. I, I in agree. The, in, the, in the 52, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, Target Bronx, I think, is definitely one of the nicest spaces that we have. It's beautiful. People really work hard trying to keep it up, keep it clean, you know. It's a lot of work, and the gardeners have done that part. You know, we... We help ops as much as we can, you know, because yeah. they have a hard job. And, and we do try to help them as much as we can. Well, I actually was working for the Bronx Museum of the Arts, and we were using the space for some of our public programming. So this goes back quite a ways. Uh, and then I was invited to join one of the garden meetings meetings and to see if I can get a bed and it was that and then I uh, continued to bring some of the comedy and poetry and jazz to the uh, garden so I really basically started off with public programming. The reading room was an idea from a volunteer, a young teenage volunteer uh, her name is Marlene, if I'm correct, uh, Hilda? Yes, Marlene. And, and um, she came up with the idea of maybe uh, she was volunteering with Cheyenne, and she said it would be nice if we had a reading room. And uh, so we asked NYRP to, uh, if we can use the other shed, and we got over 500 books donated to us. Um, I still think some have not been displayed in the reading room. We got a bing bag from a lot of community-based organizations that are in and around the area, like Bridge Builders. We received two rocking chairs for uh, young kids, and uh, it's really been good the, you know, since it opened. The kids are very excited when we go there and we open it. Uh, it's like a little place just for them. And it keeps them from running through our beds sometimes. <laughs> Last year we had a breakfast where uh, we took things out of everybody's beds and, and we cooked a big breakfast and everybody that was a gardener participated and we ate together, broke bread together and enjoyed the morning. So that sounds that was awesome. What, yeah. what, what were you able to make out of the, the food what, that you pulled out from the garden? We use the onions, the basils, the garlic, um, the herbs, you know, a lot of the herbs. Then we bought eggs and stuff and made had omelets. omelets. Yeah, we okay. had uh, turkey bacon. You know, it was a really nice morning. It was a really nice morning. My invitation must have got lost in the mail. Uh, but I, I'll you know, be we, there next we year. We really did forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I um, just found it right here. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. <laughs> there it is. Great. Just uh, just a, a year late, but I'm looking forward to the next one. Uh. <laughs>